Humboldt County says I owe over $4 million in fines for somebody else's crime. In 2018, after California legalized marijuana, Humboldt County's Division of Code Enforcement launched a program using satellite images to ticket and fine anyone it suspects of growing marijuana without a permit. As a result, innocent homeowners across the county face millions of dollars in fines for things they never did. I got this notice on my gate and literally I look at it and it says I owe them $30,000 a day for growing cannabis when all I've ever done is grow vegetables in my greenhouses. We got uh, the fine notice the end of August 2021. It was $16,000 a day. When I looked at the abatement notices, I realized I was getting charged $83,000 a day for hoop houses that had already been removed. Humboldt County is a sprawling county five hours north of San Francisco in an area known as the Emerald Triangle because of its long history of cannabis cultivation. The county, which is home to Redwood Forest National Park, is nearly the size of Connecticut. This is a community of people who moved out in the 70s back to the landers, they called them and they scraped together whatever pennies they could and they bought old logged out land that no one else wanted, just like I kind of got with this place, and they turned it into a community. For the last four years, Humboldt's Code Enforcement Office has scoured historic satellite photos to look for any sign of cannabis cultivation. If they saw a greenhouse or a leveled garden plot, they just assumed it was cannabis and immediately started fining the property owner tens of thousands of dollars per day. They rarely ever inspect alleged violations in person. Having a greenhouse is proof enough for the county. And in some cases, they assess the fines to a new owner for a previous owner's problems. That means that innocent homeowners like the Thomases are left to pay. We met in Agora, California. I had four children, two of them autistic twins. And one of them, Stephen, became an award-winning cross-country runner and he attained quite a bit of news and hope for other autistic families. And a movie was made about our family, uh, named Miracle Run. Unfortunately for the Thomases, in 2018, a wildfire destroyed their home in Southern California. They decided to move to Humboldt to retire on a piece of property in the heart of the Redwood Forest. I had been a loan officer in the past and a real estate agent and uh, I, a paralegal degree. And so I was careful about what I was buying. And I read all the documents, it went through title, it cleared title. And then all of a sudden, uh, a week later after we moved in, there's a several page notice on the gate that we had a code violation. It said that we were growing marijuana illegally when I read the paperwork, I found out that it was put under LLC's name, who was the previous owner. The Thomases bought their property with a clean title. In fact, the county waited to issue the fines until after the land changed hands. The code enforcer told them that a previous owner had used a three-story barn on the property to grow cannabis and that their only option to avoid the fines was to tear it down in 10 days. Just the fear that this puts in your mind and the, and the pain of being told that your dreams are going to be gone and you're going to be without anything. They're asking us to spend over $100,000 to tear out this barn because the previous owner was breaking a rule or a law and we had nothing to do with that. The way this was looking was that we were going to lose everything. The Thomases were not alone in facing astronomical fines for the county's code enforcement program. A similar thing happened to Blue Graham, who built two greenhouses on his land to grow vegetables for his wife's restaurant. They're fining me $30,000 a day for growing vegetables in my greenhouses, when all they had to do was come and look, and instead of that, they're claiming that I, that I grew cannabis. They could have seen for themselves. A property owner gets just 10 days to fix the issue. But in the case of people like Blue Graham and Rhonda Olson, even if they tear down the greenhouses, it is not enough. The county wants their money too. 
Rhonda removed the prior owner's greenhouses and was still getting fined more than $80,000 per day. It's been two years and I've done everything that I thought that they wanted me to do. And they keep coming back with fines and more abatements. And I don't know how a person can pay it. It just made so much stress in my life. Blue, Rhonda, and the Thomases are only a few examples of over 1,000 property owners being targeted by the county's abusive code enforcement program. So far, the county has issued more than 1,200 citations, totaling hundreds of millions of dollars in fines. The process for resolving the issue is rarely made clear to the property owners. And even when they do address the issue, the county continues to assess additional fines, all without providing any hearings. And it, it's frustrating. I try and talk to them. I try and they tell me what I need to do. I do it. They say that's not good enough. Um, I've tried to get my home permitted. They, they say you can do it. Then they say you can't. So I can never get a straight answer from these guys. The fines are constantly changing. And you say I'm doing all this stuff, then, then bring me to court and prove it, which they've told me they don't have the proof. They just want my money. We sued Humboldt County to put an end to its abusive code enforcement program. Homeowners should be able to have a garden or a greenhouse without facing baseless accusations and ruinous fines from an abusive code enforcement officer. Like I said, this is my home and these are my neighbors and this is a really tight community. And it's not just me that got affected, it's my whole neighborhood and it, it's frustrating. The reason I'm standing up is because that's how I was raised. Um, you gotta be tough out here to live. IJ's lawsuit argues that Humboldt violates due process. It forces people to prove they're innocent, but never provides them a chance to do so. All while millions in excessive fines continue to grow. We're here to shut down this abusive system.